Are you struggling with cash that will allow you to put down money for a new home for you and your family? In this video, we're going to go over Hometown Heroes, a new down payment program that just came back out this year that allows you to get up to $35,000 that will take care of your down payment and closing costs. Now, in this video, we're going to go over the details on this program and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So click that like and subscribe button below and let's get right into it. Crazy last year and this year is probably going to be crazy again. It was that the money that was allocated for that program was going very quick and people jumped on it super quick on it because people are strapped with cash, especially with this economy that we have going on right now. People are definitely struggling to come up with the money for down payment and closing costs, even though they have the job, they have the income, they have they did their taxes, they have all the great things that's going for them, but they don't have the money or the resources to get the money. So you have down payment programs that is that will allow you to get in the home. Like myself, you know, when me and my wife bought our home, I was blessed enough to get a zero down program too as well. It wasn't a down payment assistant, but that particular um, association that I used, a credit union, they had a zero down program depending on where your credit score was. So I personally have used a zero down program before and I had to pay no money to get in our house. Um, but the difference with that was I had to have a really high credit score. This one right here, you do not have to have a really high credit score, which is hometown hero that we're going to discuss. But before we go all into this, let's dive into this video that I found with ABC News and let's listen to, um, well, let's listen to what they're talking about. Here we go real quick. So let's pull this bad boy up here and let's listen. Mortgage payments making a comeback. New this morning, zero down mortgage payments making a comeback. We've been talking about this quite a bit before the show. Yeah. A major mortgage company recently launched a zero down program. There are several other low or no down payment programs becoming available for buyers. A zero down program helps people buy homes without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a down payment. Let's get out to ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick. She is live in Tampa this morning. Keely, you spent some time... Now, I just want to stop it right there. You heard what she said. Instead of you spending tens of thousands of dollars, which is very hard to manage these days to save that with everything going on, everything's expensive, there are a lot of down payment programs that will help you out. So let's continue to listen. Now, I know this lady's in Tampa, but it's all over Florida, this program. But I know they're going to be talking about a lot of different uh, down payment stuff. Digging into this, what can you tell us? I did, and this comes as we continue to hear from our viewers who say they want to buy homes, but it's just so expensive. I think this is something that a lot of people can relate to, and for some, a down payment is the biggest hurdle keeping them from buying. So I sat down with a local mortgage expert to go over the programs available and the best options for people who are looking to buy. I think they've become so popular and such a hot topic now because so many people are wanting to buy a home. Rob so Pinion cool. with Guild Mortgage walked me through the ins and outs. So a lot of people are trying to purchase homes, like he just mentioned earlier, and people are strapped with cash. And, you know, the government are trying to come up with different ways to uh, help people out to get in homes. And, you know, I have dealt with, I have the um, down payment assistance before with my buyers, but this particular program and what they're doing now, it is good. Um, we got some um, cons in it that we'll go over to as well of some of these zero down programs. He explains they do make buying a house a little more affordable right off the bat, which is what many buyers are desperate to do. See, most of the phone calls I get are people telling me, Rob, I'm paying this amount per month. How much house can I afford? Emma Pardo with Compass Real Estate also weighing in. There's a lot of frustration for buyers, especially first time home buyers. That's she says true. the zero down programs are drawing in first time, time home buyers who want important. to stop paying high rents in Tampa and start building equity. If you have equity in a home that you already own, then you can take that equity and bring it to the next house. First time home buyers don't have that equity to utilize towards their purchase. Pardo and that's that's what makes it difficult for first time home buyers because they don't have unless you have 401k uh, savings, pension, stuff like that, you can have access to. But a lot of people don't have that. So first time home buyers get hit with this harder, especially with the higher price point home. Anytime you have higher price point home, that means you got to put more you got to put more money down and also closing costs is a little bit higher. 
and Pinion tell me the zero down programs stem from people wanting to get into a home without having tens of thousands of dollars set aside for a down payment. While the zero down programs sound great, Pinion says there are a lot of restrictions and hoops to jump yes, through, and it may not be your best option. Some of them are income restricted. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are we'll neighborhood restricted. Um, some of the local bond programs, you actually have to be inside their city district. He tells me it's not the safest bet, especially for Florida buyers. He's steering his clients towards a local program called Hometown Hero. That's the one we're going it to is a today. super program. Borrowers can get up to $35,000 in down payment assistance, and the program recently expanded to almost all working Floridians. Now, there are some restrictions with this program as well, but Pinion says they're looser and that the Hometown Heroes program is a really good option. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. There's just not as many little things out there to trip you up. Now, going, going into this more in depth, as he but he mentioned at the end, I like how they ended it. I like how they ended that with hometown heroes. It is probably one of the best options because I'm not a big fan of the other down payment programs or the bond because there's so many restrictions. Even USDA uh, loans, there's a lot of restriction. This one has some restrictions too, but I think it's better for it's better it's better off for a lot of people. And since they opened it up for everybody compared to last year, it's a it's a good way to go. So when I now I know I mentioned earlier that we're gonna go in detail about this. So let's go into detail real quick. So let's scroll down here. So as we mentioned earlier, Flow uh, Hometown Heroes is back with the relaunch. This program was funded one hundred million dollars. Now the the that sounds like a lot of money, $100 million, but that money went quick last year. Soon as this came out, you saw so many people advertising Hometown Heroes. I'm doing workshops, everything, trying to explain this, get better understanding how to take advantage of it to get a home. So $100 million. This money goes fast. Last year, a similar amount was depleted within the first two months. You see this right here, guys? The first, the first two months. First two months, it was gone. 100 million. So you have to act fast. And it says it right here. Why you need to act fast? To, to secure your funds, you must be pre approved. Now, this is an article that was in May. That's why I says June. So if you get pre approved right now, we find a house going to contract, we can lock you in with the Hometowns Heroes. So, yes, you need to act fast. You know, it's no point. It's really no point trying to stay on the fence, trying to find a perfect, 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 perfect house when you have $35,000 you can play with. And, you know, they can help you out with your down payment. Uh, so how do you qualify? You know, that's, you know, that's a great one to know. A lot of people want to know. So you must not have owned a home in the past three years. Have Could you have owned a home? Yes, you guys. Yes, you can have owned a home before. Or you can be owned a home right now. It just says for the past three years. For the past three years, you have to have not owned a home. So if you own a home five years, ten years, you can. You can sell the home. You can sell the home and you don't got to use your equity to put down on the home because you can use hometown heroes. Um, you need some of your own money or support from family members or a motivated home seller. All right. So employment requirements. You need to know this. At least one applicant occupying the new home must be employed full time by a Florida based business. Work for home employees must report the specific Florida location confirmed in, in writing by employer. Self-employed applicant need third-party confirmation of full-time work status from a CPA, bookkeeper, tax uh, tax preparer. So like a VOE, they call that, just to verify your employment, especially when you work for yourself. Veterans can utilize this, and active duty, and active duty members can utilize this. Um, and let's scroll down one more. Income and credit scores. This is the this is the this is the big one right here. Income. So. Depend. I, I don't know all the areas. I'm just gonna go based off this number here. Every area is basically different. So I don't know what. I think that was me. But um, so it looks like you can do uh, conventional FHA, VA, or USDA with this. So the income level depending on counties. But right now, I'm in Orange County, which is in Florida. Uh, the your lady told me it's one hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars. You cannot go. You cannot be over that combined or single person. One hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars. So that's one of the restrictions right there. If you make more than that, if you saw my last video, you know my threshold was that I thought was good was one hundred forty. But this is one hundred thirty-two. But I did have a number on there that says one hundred ten. You can find a good house. Go back to that video. 
how to so the next one is your credit score and this is goes along with a lot of things uh my other video that i talked about 4.99 um getting no low rates you had to have a 642 640 credit score or 660 if you're financing a manufacturer home i don't really do i haven't never did a manufacturer home so i don't know about that but 640 credit score or higher to get approved for this program right here um so what you can expect what can you expect with this right here you can get you can receive up to five thousand dollars on a new loan amount down payment assistant ranging from ten thousand to thirty five thousand dollars which will help you out with your down payment and your closing costs just depending on the price of the home and you can do fha conventional va loan usa you can you can do all of them type of loans um which is good and it's open up for everybody so what do you need to do to move ahead find you a realtor and also find you a trusted loan officer or mortgage company that can help you out with this program now because that's the only way you gonna be able to get in the house in a way you need a realtor you need to help show you homes and you need a lender so you submit your documents over see that everything looks good so you can get approved so them the two things you need right there so i got another slide that i want to pull up here because that one was good but i have another one that has a little bit more detail so um it's the, this one had the same same kind of questions too but the reason i like this too as well because it got more deeper information I just like the other one look kind of pretty. But this one right here. Now, don't get it twisted, you guys. Everything is not free. <clears throat> Sorry, everything is not free. You're looking at <clears throat> this. Um, they give you $35,000. This is a second mortgage. It's a silent second mortgage because it's 0% interest. Uh, 0%. Now, you don't have to pay that back for 30 years. So when 30 years come, you pay the home off, you got to pay that loan off. Now, there's four things. There's four ways that you will have to pay off this loan four four ways one if you rent the property out you got to pay back that thirty five thousand dollars if you buy if you pay off the home early you got to pay you got to pay that thirty five thousand dollars off if you sell the house you have to do the same exact you have to do the same exact thing too as well you have to when you sell the house Depending on your equity or whatnot, you think you got, you remember you got to pay that thirty-five thousand dollars off. Also, if you refinance the fourth, if you refinance, you have to pay off that loan, that second mortgage, that thirty-five thousand dollars. So, them are four of the ways that will prompt you to pay back that thirty-five thousand um, dollars with the hometown heroes. So, going back to this, so. Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad, you guys, my bad. So now you can get single family resident. This, what you can buy is a uh, single family home, townhomes, FHA approved condos. So you can get condos, townhomes, and single family homes with this. Um, lot and lo uh, land are not eligible for this program. So you can't buy no land, no lot, or anything like that for this program. Uh, refinancing, it says it's not eligible, but you have to... If you do refinance, like I mentioned earlier, you have to pay that. You have to pay that off. Uh, you must be a first-time home buyer, as I mentioned earlier, and not have not no home no home ownership in the previous three years. So, so a couple of other things about this program, I want to go more in detail about this program. So, <clears throat> I thought I had some strategies for it, but I, actually I don't because when I got some more confirmation on this program. So when you do Hometowns Hero, you're not you, you're not going to get the lowest rate on the market. You're going to get a little higher rate and you cannot buy it down. So that's a negative. That's a negative for me. I like to keep it real on here because this is a transparent show. And if I don't keep it real, I'm not doing you guys no justice on this video. You know, I want to give you guys the real raw and dirty of real estate. We'll go the ins and outs and especially with programs and stuff that I come across and also how to get you guys in a home. And with this program here, you're locked into, so for example, so if the rate's right now 6.5 and you got approved for Hometown Heroes, you're going to be at like a 6.7, 6.8. Mind you, I'm not a lender or mortgage <clears throat> loan officer or anything like that. I'm just giving you some just estimates. That's what it usually is. Because that's why I'm not a big fan of down payment assistant. Because every time I have did down payment assistant for a buyer, 
the rate is so much higher that knocks them out of qualifying for a certain house because if you're at like a, like I said 6.5 you may be at a seven or something like that with down payment programs because you're not going to get the market value of down payment because they're giving you something so the one thing with hometown heroes is it changes every day so you know whatever that rate is today is different for the next day that's why it's important to get approved find a home go on a contract and lock in the rate so you can get the best rate possible with hometown hero now on the flip side one good thing that i found out about it was you can buy a multi-unit with hometown heroes as long as you occupy in one space which is great so you can get an investment property live in it make money off of it and essentially get in that property without putting no money down no down payment and no closing costs. Now that's crazy. Now that's crazy. If you can find a way to take advantage of that, advantage of that, and and that's a strategy for you, definitely take advantage of it. Now, you still got to put some money down because remember, when you buy the house, you got to put down what's called an escrow deposit. So you still got to have some cash on you. Now you can't utilize that thirty five thousand dollars to pay for your inspection, your <clears throat> the down payment or appraisal. You still got to have some money, you guys. Can't have zero dollars and make this work. You still got to have some money because there's still money that has to be allocated when you go on a contract house. So the rule is when you're putting down for a house, especially now, it's a 1% rule. So any house that you see that you like and you go on a contract, we usually put down 1% of that the uh, of the house that we put the offering on. That would be the um, deposit, escrow deposit, that goes towards your um your closing, your uh, down payment, closing costs once you close. So you still got to have some money, but essentially that thirty five up to thirty five thousand dollars can take care of your closing costs and your um, and your down payment. It just depends. So is this is this down payment program for you? That is the question. Is this for you or and are you struggling for the cash, there are options out there besides just this hometown hero. You have USDA, you have other down payment programs. And also, like I mentioned earlier, myself, me and my wife, when we purchased our home, I put down zero money. But mine was not a down payment program. Mine was through the bank. The difference with them programs are you usually have to have a much higher credit score. So in the sevens. So if you're in the sevens, you can have different strategies for you to do and you can get the lowest rate that's on the market because hometown hero even if you had the highest credit score 800 plus you're still getting whatever the rate is for hometown heroes for everybody just to keep that in mind just to keep that in mind for everybody do i think this is a good program yes because people are strapped with cash and that's why i wanted to go 100 uh, that's why i wanted to go 100 percent because i didn't want to utilize all my money that i had saved because I wasn't sure how the market was going to go since I'm in real estate and I wanted to make sure I had reserves in a bank instead of putting out all my money. So if you thought like me, you know, that was my why of why I wanted to. Now, what is your why and what's the reason why you would like to utilize this regardless of what the rate will be? If it's not the market value, you still be able to get in the house. Now, for people that wants to sell their home and buy home this i think this is still good too as well because you have equity majority of you have equity in your home as long as it's been three years or more you have equity in your home that allows you to keep your equity now because majority of people use the equity they use for a down payment and closing costs or you may want to use the equity depending on how much you got to put to put down a big lump sum when i mean lump sum i'm talking about $7,500,000 or more because that's going to make a dent in your mortgage payments when you put down when you put down amount because I get people all the time but what if I put down fifteen twenty thousand dollars I said that ain't doing nothing you might as well keep that it's not making no big dent what's the point putting down twenty five thousand dollars in your payment change twenty dollars thirty dollars that's not a big dent I want to see three hundred dollar difference two hundred dollar difference a month that's what you want to see. That's why you got to put down more money because you're going to see that bigger dent um, in your mortgage pay, a mortgage payment, especially when you sell a house. If you put down 20%, you'll save a lot anyway. Besides mortgage payment, you're not going to have no private mortgage insurance, which is called PMI. So in a nutshell, in this video, we talked about if you're struggling, there are down payment options. If you're struggling, Hometown Heroes just came back this month in July, this year. So act fast. As we went back and I showed you guys that last year, it was gone in two months. 
two months that down payment program was gone in two months, $35,000 because everybody in Florida was eating it up. You should eat it up too as well. Take advantage of it, especially if your credit score is over 640, you've been working two years and you can verify your employment and you're not over that threshold of 132. I'm just using that example because it said Orange County's around that. If you're not over that threshold of $132,000, take advantage of it. Go ahead and take care of your family and get the home that you deserve and home that you want that you've been working hard for and you've been dreaming about all these years. Take advantage of it. You can reach out to me. I have a great team of lenders and realtors that I work with that's on my team that we can assist you. So please like and subscribe to this video and share to other people, please. You know, the goal is for this channel is to educate others. I like to be real and be honest so other people can see exactly what's going on and have their... You know, their host, I know their host may be diminished, but I'm trying to bring them back up to reality as in you can still buy a home. Just got to think differently, change your mindset. What you probably really, really wanted, let's take a scale back just a little bit and let's get something that you like right now and then work towards trying to get the home that you really want. But let's work on not being renters and being homeowners. It's something that we can say that I own this. This is mine. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I missed the right choice as they call me, and I'm out. I see you next, I see you on the next video. Like, subscribe again, like, subscribe again, and like, subscribe again, and I'm out. Peace.